Welcome to Century One. In this video, we will be discussing the object browser within DBA Express. The object browser allows you to easily view details about the objects in a database. You can access the object browser functionality by clicking on the object browser tile within the Pragmatic Workbench. Once you launch the object browser, you will be asked to provide a name for the SQL Server instance, an authentication method, and a database that you are interested in. After entering your selections and clicking the OK button, you are taken to the Object Browser main view. Here you can search for and view the schema elements for the specified database in a tree structure or a list. When you select a schema element from the tree or list, you will be able to see the properties of that element on the right hand side of the screen, as well as the script that was used to generate the object. The Object Browser allows you to specify complex filters to be defined when searching for specific objects within your database. These filters are made up of combination elements, compound filters, or match elements. A list of the compound filter types and match elements can be viewed in the following link to our user guide. You can add a filter tree by selecting the Add Filter Tree button in the View section of the toolbar. An example of a filter tree and the setup and explanation of the filter elements can be seen in these links to our user guide. Please note that these filters can be utilized within the Schema and Data Inspector functionalities within DBA Express. The match elements contain either an object type filter, an object type group filter, or a text filter. The object type filter has two properties, mode and type. The type is the type of object such as a table or column, and the mode is how the object type match is applied. You can find out more about the mode and parenting rules in this link to our user guide. Just like the object type filter, the object type and group filter have two properties, mode and group. The mode in this filter determines whether the filter will match an object based on if it does or does not belong to a specified group. You can find more information about the groups and logical object groupings in the link to our user guide here. The text filter has four properties, the source, mode, text, and case sensitive match. The text is the text that you would like to search for, and the case sensitive match specifies whether the text searched for matches the case of the entered text or not. The source specifies where to look for the entered text, and the mode specifies how to look to match the text with the selected text from the object. You can view all of the details about the text filter in this link to our user guide. The final thing that I would like to mention is the Take Snapshot button in the toolbar. This button allows you to take a snapshot of your database to use for comparison purposes at a later time. If you have any questions about this information or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.centuryone.com. Thanks for watching.